Hello, Rick from Supai here, and on today's tutorial, what we're gonna talk about is how to make a spooky version of your website. Now, what we've got here is an alternate version of the Supai website, which looks like this, called spookyhigh.com. Now, we're gonna call it maybe superdie.com, but Spooky High won out. Now, what we're gonna talk about is how we actually make this. Now, of course, what this is, is a normal HTML, CSS, and JavaScript website. What we're gonna do is add some new style to it to basically invert it, and also change some of the colors too. So what we're gonna talk about is how to make a spooky version of this site. <laughs> So we're gonna be using a spooky effect on a different site. Now this is a site that we've taken from our JavaScript for designers course. If you wanna learn how to make this site with some parallax and some scroll effects, go on this course. Now, of course, what we have on this is a normal HTML, CSS, and JavaScript website. So in here, what we have is our HTML. We've got some CSS in here, which starts it up. And we have some JavaScript that adds these effects. So I've got the scroll effect and this parallax effect on here. Now, where do we want to change how this looks? Well, if it's how it looks, this is gonna be in our style. So in our CSS, we're gonna to go to our style.css. Now, how do we change how this looks? Now, we want to invert this somehow. Now, a long way around would be to change all the colors one by one and change all the images one by one, but there is a quick way to do this. What we can use is CSS filter that looks something like this. Now, in here, we have everything from blur, to contrast, to grayscale, but also things like hue rotate as well. Now, if I scroll further down, there's a list of quite a few. I wanna be using invert. Now, how do we apply this? Well, I want to do this across the whole page. I'm gonna do this on the body. Now, on my body style, I'm gonna add some space and use the word filter. Filter, what do I wanna do? Well, I want to invert this, and in round brackets, well, by default, it will just make it invert to 100%. So just by adding this one line of code in, I can actually just invert the whole page. Still, everything works as normal, but what happens if you wanna change some of these colors and make them move? Well, what I can use in here is a combination of invert and maybe something like hue rotate. Now, hue rotate is gonna change this like on a clock. We have our red at zero and our red on the other end of the scale at, at 360. Now at blue, it's around about 200 degrees. At green, it's about 100 degrees. I wanna shift things around. So to shift things around, notice this is green. Maybe I wanna change this green to a blue. Gonna change this with a space hue dash rotate. Now the hue rotate I'm gonna do is something around about maybe 60 degrees. That's a little bit bluer. If I change this to 100, this goes to a bit purple, for instance. So this is shifting how this color looks. Now on the final version of this website, what we want to do is have this as an animation. It's gonna go around the clock that we have on our hue rotate. How do we do this? Well, instead of this being a static thing that stays here, we're gonna get rid of it for now. We're gonna come back to that. Now we've reset this site back to normal. What do we wanna do instead? Well, we're gonna add something at the top of my style sheet. I'm gonna add at keyframes. And my keyframes, I'm gonna put in here, let's give it a name called Spooky. Now, Spooky is just something that I've made up. You can call it whatever you want. Now, here, I'm gonna use curly brackets to explain what Spooky is. Now, I'm gonna open these up. Makes it a little bit easier to read. I've got 0% in here. Where do I want to start my Spooky animation? Well, I want this to start a filter with invert at 100% and my hue rotate at zero degrees. So start in just inverted. My end of my keyframes, the end of my animation is at 100%. And what do I want to put in here? Well, I want this to be filter. I want this to be inverted 100%. But I want to go around the clock. So I want to do hue rotate at 360 degrees. Now, of course, this hasn't inverted the website. I've made my keyframes, but I'm not using it anywhere. So where do we want to use this? I want to use this on the body of the page. I want it to be everywhere. So on here, I'm going to add an animation. I'm going to pick the animation that I want. Spooky, which is kind of what I call it here. And how long do I want it to go over? Something like five seconds. So there we go. We see this change. However, what we might see at the end of five seconds is it reverts back. It only does it once at the moment and it resets to normal. I want this to go around forever. I'm gonna add the word infinite in here. So I'll just keep looping around forever. 
And in here, I'm going to add the word linear. I don't want any speeding up or slowing down of this change. I want this to be a linear change every single time. So just by adding in this few lines of code here and this line of code here, I've added the spooky effects to my website. 